Okay, now for this one, you're going to have to help me again, if you will. So, what I need you to do is let me give the cards a little shuffle here. And now, what I'd like you to do is we cut them into three piles. For Oops. Okay, cut them into three piles. All right, all right, good. Now, what we're going to do is let's take each a card from each pile. This is the first one, and then this is the second one, and then this will be the third one. So, in that order, those are the those are the three cards. Now, let me put the deck aside. Before we started this, I I had a card. It's the universal card, and the universal card is a joker. The way you can tell it from the others is that it has a red it has a red back on it. Now, the universal card has all the elements of the universe. And I'll show you what I mean. For example, this card is a very delicate card, and if I place it next to any card, for example, the king, and I rub that, it has a printing quality to it. So now it looks just like we have two kings, and so we do. Now, let me place that aside, and I'm going to just put this down for a second to let the, the chemistry change. And now I'm going to try and take it and place it next to another card, which is the 8. Now, it'll, it'll look exactly like the 8. You let it settle, and now look, two 8s. That's amazing looking, I know. Now, I'll take, I'll take the 8, and I'll place it aside, and now I let it settle, and the elements contain themselves. And now we've got a 10, and watch. Put it against the 10, and now I've got two 10s. Now that's a rather remarkable thing. The universal card, if I take it, and let me place it back here, I'm sure you know what the universal card looks like. When the elements are all settled, it always looks like the Joker. I know what you're thinking, but you see, that's the Joker. That's the universal card. 